One day I wrote her name. One day I wrote her name upon the strand. But came the waves and watched its way. Again I wrote it with a second hand. But came the tide and made my pains his prey. Vain man, said she, the dust in vain essay. A mortal thing so to immortalize, for I myself shall like to this decay, and eke my name be wiped out likewise. Not so, could I. Let baser things devise to die in dust, but you shall live by fame. My worst, your worships, rest shall eternize. And in the heavens, write your glorious name. Wherever death shall all the world subdue, our love shall live, and later life renew. Good morning, my Tuesday student. I hope you enjoy the weekend. Yes. yes. Enjoy my weekend very much. How about your weekend? Uh, really good. I spent my time in Bali. <laughs> wow! Oh, I want to go. It's, it's great news. Yeah. Uh, okay, so I remember in the last week, I gave you a group work and assigned each group to choose any poem that your group interested in for this card and answer the question, right? Yes. 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 Mm hmm. And which group want to go first? Can I go first? Oh, great. Of course. Let's see. This poem name is One Day I Wrote Her Name by Edmund Spencer. The question is who is the speaker of this poem? I think the speaker is her beloved because this poem used first person point of view and this poem is talking about he and his beloved are chilling at the beach and he decides to get a romantic to write any more the sand so it is clear that the setting of this poem is at the beach thank you in this poem, there there has a conflict between the nature and human. Every creature must die, but the man in this poem does not want his beloved die. He again the nature of writing her name of beloved on the show order. Poem want to make she stay alive forever. According to not so quad I less better thing this why to die in that but you shall live by frame. My words, your words, your last shall eternize. And the imagery in this poem is kinesthetic imagery. For example, one day I was her name on the strand, but came the wave and washed away. Again, I word it with a second hand, but came the tide and made my pain he pray. And uh, in this poem, uh, it had a I am big pentameter and the lamp scheme in this poem is A B A B B C B C C D C D E E. The other use star device is alliteration. The alliteration is made with V star, word and version, and they are much softer than the D star in the previous line. The figure of speech are metaphor. A metaphor is play for the relationship that the words have with nature and time. The mood of this poem is um, immortality, mortality, and love. Connotative meaning that helps to clarify the author's tone. This poem depicts the lyrical voice attempt to make his loved one immortal. 
The other's tone. His tone is doubting and pessimistic. It can seen from this keyword. Vain mortal, immortalized, decay, and wiped out. So next to the author's tone, his tone is doubting and pessimistic. So you can see from this keyword like vain, mortal, immortalized, decayed, and wiped out. For the significance of the poem's title, this title make readers aware of the guidelines of the content that they are going to read. For example, one day I wrote her name. When you see the title, you can tell that the poem is about writing a person's name. According to our briefly summarizing this poem, the speaker described writing his lover's name in the sand and watching it be carried away by the tide throughout the poem. He proceeds, no matter how many times it occurs, he even keeps writing and after his lover tells him that she doesn't want to live forever, he does not believe that she should be surrounded by the world's uglier aspect. So Spencer and with the speaker implying that his love will be swayed through the ass. And finally, the author's purpose. Throughout the poem, he describes his attempts to immortalize his true love. He can't seem to achieve what he aiming for no matter how hard he tries. The inevitability of that is depicted by Spencer using pictures of sand and waves. However, as he continued to write between the waves, he missed it and attempts to overcome it. The demonstrators of the, of the power of his love in, in the face of insurmountable art. Good job, students. Very good, very good. Good, good. Uh, so, um, this class teacher will let you free because everybody well done. It's very good. And see you and goodbye. See you next time. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Goodbye. Goodbye.